Are you sick of bad hair days? You need a hat. Hey everybody, Parker here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we focus on building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank. If you like the sound of that, join the gang. Today we're gonna chat hats. Telling you what's on my hat wall, telling you how to style them, some different brands that I love, just different styles of wide brim hats specifically, and uh, see what else. I call them wide brim hats. Some people call them fedoras. There are different sub styles of them as there are with any type of fashion, but we're just gonna call them wide brim hats. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, there are two major categories that you can choose from. One is a straw style like this. These are always gonna be better worn in warmer temperatures because they're so much more breathable. You can like see the light coming through because it's just a lot more thin and lightweight. And the second, is a wool style. This is a lot more heavy duty. This is gonna be more similar to what you're gonna see like old Western style or cowboy hats are made out of. It's definitely thicker and a lot less breathable. However, you can still totally wear a wool hat during warmer temperatures. You just might sweat a little bit more. When it comes to straw styles, you can do something in a darker brown like this. I actually don't have any straw black, but it's absolutely a good option for you. I'm a big fan of this in the warmer weather if I do wanna kinda of dress things up a little bit. This one's from Galpin & Co. This first one that I showed you is from Yellow 108. They are one of my favorite wide brim hat makers. Really, really high quality and also extremely comfortable. This one, it's like a derby sort of like yacht style cap that I really enjoy. I just got this this year from Amazon. It was like 15 or 20 bucks. Also, I added this crazy feather to the cap. And finally, my last straw hat is actually from Target. This one's cool because you can flip it down if you really want a ton of sun coverage. Cause like ultimately the reason that you wear a hat like this is cause they're stylish, but also it's gonna give you so much coverage from the sun. It's gonna keep your face and your eyes a lot more protected. This is one that I would wear on a boat or to the beach, somewhere that's just really easy because like this one was super cheap and I don't mind if it gets like beaten up. Now for wool hats, because they are a little bit dressier in my opinion, I love keeping things really, really classy. So like this one's from Gorin Brothers. They are one of the old classic brands that I really, really love. This is the Dean the Butcher. I've also got the uh, feathers in that one, as you can see. This super wide one that I showed you before is from Seven Hill. They're a little bit of a smaller brand, but the quality is excellent. Also have this one in black, but that's Jacqueline's. This one's mine. This one does not quite fit my head, unfortunately. I guess I could wear it like this. Yeah. This one is from Bailey of Hollywood. Again, they are another really classic heritage brand. It's got this horseshoe spike in the side, just a little bit of added detail. This is just a fun one to throw on because again, it's crushable. It's very easy to just kind of throw it right back to how it was. So if I want to pack it in a suitcase or anything, I don't need to worry about it getting messed up. I do also have this black felt one from Yellow 108. That's really, really stylish. I like wearing this one with all black outfits or just kind of on its own to add a little bit of extra style to my otherwise super casual outfits. Speaking of, let's talk more specifically about how you can style these hats. As I said before, with straw, this is a style that you wear in warmer weather, at least for me. So if I'm gonna be wearing something to the beach, like linen or just anything super casual, I think these hats are an easy way to add sun protection, but also a lot of extra style to your outfits. So if you're just wearing like a bathing suit and a t-shirt, with some sandals, a hat like this is an easy way for you to look a lot more put together and not quite as casual. Whereas with wool, you're gonna get just a little bit more variety. So something like this is a super easy way to throw on with a really casual outfit like what I'm wearing right now, just jeans and this lightweight knit button up shirt and automatically add a ton of extra style to your outfit just because of the fact that you were intentional about your hat. I think it's really fun to just kind of differentiate yourself from everybody else. Or even when you're getting dressed up, you could wear this to an outdoor wedding with a suit and some boots and look fantastic. Or you can just throw it on with some denim when you're going out on the weekend and you're always gonna look really stylish. If you're self-conscious about losing some of your hair or you just don't feel like doing your hair, 
throwing on a hat like this is great because it is more dressy than a baseball hat or like a flat cap. And finally, like I said, with this one, if you're a little bit more into a darker aesthetic or you like wearing all black, I think something like this looks fantastic with an all black outfit, throw it on with a leather jacket, some jeans, trousers, whatever you feel like wearing, just keep everything black. One last thing that I really enjoy about this style of hat is, no, I'm not a cowboy hat person. However, I think something like this is just a little bit more of like an urban cowboy hat. You can wear it and it gives a little bit more of a city vibe to me than a cowboy hat would, but it's still an easy way for protection, for style, and just to feel really cool, in my opinion. In terms of brands, all the ones that I mentioned are kind of my go-tos. That's what I really enjoy just because the price points aren't crazy out of control. But if you want to, you can spend a ton more and there's also stuff that might be a little bit less. It kind of ranges the whole spectrum as anything does with fashion. Here's a shot of the entire wall with brands over each one, just to give you a quick little refresher. And that's all I got about wide brim hats. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, as always, you can drop them down in the comments. You can DM me on Instagram. Go follow me there as well as on TikTok for lots of other style tips and outfit ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye.